All right, so we have the Zenith Epic Helmet. It just came out recently. And uh, this is the youth helmet. My son's 10 years old. We got this in. Uh, I specifically ordered it uh, for the 2016 season. And I just wanted to share a couple of cool things. What really drew me to uh, liking this uh, helmet. First and foremost, it is beast looking. Uh, I think that people are always looking for the cool looking stuff. And my, my son immediately fell in love with it when he saw it. And... And as I was researching, trying to figure out the difference between this helmet and the Rydell and the other ones out there on the market, there was a, there was a recent study that showed that this Epic helmet uh, is, out of all the testing that was recently done, this is the number one helmet to, in, to reduce the impact and concussions for, uh, for the head and the brain. So if you want to check out that uh, study, you can go ahead and go to Zenith and uh, a couple tabs in there, you'll find it. Uh, you can download it. Of course, it's debatable just like anything else, but at the end of the day, the most important thing is, is finding what works for you and your son. But um, if, you're, if you're considering the Epic Zenith helmet, by far, get, get the helmet. I mean, it's unbelievable. All right, so let, let's go through this real quick. First and foremost, the face mask is called the Prime, the Prime face mask. And it by itself looks sick. It kind of looks like a transformer uh, kind of helmet or kind of face, uh, face mask. And then we also got the face shield. Since my son's been playing, he's been playing since he was like five or six. Started off with flag. Every season he's played with the face shield. Just extra protection, keeping you know hands out of the eyes. Uh, you know the only only uh, bad thing about the the shield is you know you don't get as much air intake. But if the kids are already used to it, like my son's already used to it, so it's kind of like he feels naked without it, which is which is pretty good. All right, so looking at the the side of the helmet. So first and foremost, my son plays for the Wolverines uh, here in uh, San Diego, California, and that's their. Uh, little logo right there that's put on from the side you can see that uh, you see there's quite a few ventilation you got the one by the ear you got the one in the back and you also have the three in the back back here and then you also have two right here so just on top of the helmet by itself you have a total of 10 ventilations on the back you got two on the side you have two and so from a ventilation standpoint and breathing standpoint uh, from the outside looking in, it's unbelievable. So, however, you got to look what's on the inside because can really, uh, you know, the heat that's on the inside get to the outside. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but I'm going to try my best to, to share this with you guys. Let me uh, take a look at the camera. Oh, yeah. So, you can see those bubbles in there. And I like to, you know, cont you know they're like... Uh, little bumpers, uh, little cushion shock absorbers. Um, don't know the official technical name of it. I just know that when my son puts it on and he has impacts, uh, he says he can feel the reduction uh, by itself just because of that. And the cool part about this helmet is when you, when you uh, strap it up, see like here? When you strap it up, here and here is what you take off. This loosens up. This entire mechanism is connected together. And when you strap it, it conforms to your head. So as you put the helmet on, it the inside collapses around the head, protecting the head in a different aspect. Vice putting on a helmet, and when you strap it up, you know wherever your head goes, it goes. This is not that's the cool part about the Zenith uh, helmet is it conforms around the head from additional protection. And it separates the head from the actual shell of, of the helmet. So with that, if you look here, we got uh, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, I don't know, 12, 14 right here, uh, uh, shock absorbers. And on the back side of these, I think we have like eight to 12 of these. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm gonna try my best to. 
these big old shock absorbers, kind of like uh, having suspension in your vehicle. There we go. I think you guys can see that pretty well. To me, this is money in the bank. I will spend the money. You know, of course, at the end of the day, um, you can only protect your, your kids so much if they play sports. But if the probability is reduced because I, I'm able to get him a helmet, why wouldn't I spend the money on the helmet for him? Uh, but at the end of the day, the most important thing is, is whatever works for you and your son or for yourself, um, I would definitely go after that. If it's the Speed Flex, awesome. If it's not, if you're considering the two, weigh the options. You know, the weights, uh, four pounds and four pounds and some change. It's, you know, my son's 10 years old and he loves it. And he, he hasn't had one complaint about a headache or impact issue or any of that. And so with that being said, this is the 2016 Zenith Epic helmet with the prime face mask. Um, Till next time. Hopefully you guys enjoy and hopefully you find the right helmet for you and, uh, and have an awesome season.